Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cranky Phil's channel. Today we're coming at you with the internet historian, The Fall of 76. Yes, this is gonna be- You guys never watched Internet Historian before, right? No, no tell us the gist of it, what is it? So he pretty much takes uh, events that happen, and uh -huh. talks about them, and all the wacky stuff that happened in between. Like, oh. all, all the bullshit that happened, okay. pretty much. Okay. His editing's good. Make some funny jokes. It's not. It's not fast-paced Max or editing. It's not. <laughs> it, it's good editing too. So okay. okay, I'll take your word for it. So, so this is covering the fall of Fallout 76. You guys remember Fallout 76 dropped? It was a shit show. Yeah. 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 So this is gonna cover all the events that made it to a shit show. Okay. Oh, dang. Okay. So yeah. So let's go straight to it. It's a 26-minute video, so pretty damn long. Is it now? Yeah, it is long. So let's do how to get straight into it. Oh, he releases a video like once every three, five months. Bang. If you found this tape, it means that everyone is dead. No. All working at a yep. different office. How did this oh, work? <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you. Buckle up, buckaroos. Today's oh, lesson no. is the misfired launch of Fallout 76. 76. June 2018. Oh, God. It began with everyone getting Hype. just a little hyped up. Yeah, I was hyped. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, I mean, oh, God. after yes, four? We have, Todd. I think we have. Everyone was hyped. Fallout 76. Bethesda's the first multiplayer game, game. My God, it was exciting. And they promised we'd know more at E3. E3 hype time. The press conference. Yes. 16, hmm. times 16 times the detail. 16 times the detail. Dang. All new rendering, lighting, and landscape yes. technology. Oh, I've never seen this shit. The excitement in the crowd. Four times the size of Fallout 4. <laughs> and it's our biggest one yet. My god, it was exciting. True. The November fourteenth, two thousand eighteen, <laughs> the game goes live yep. with a day one patch of fifty gigabytes. <laughs> For fuck's sake, I'll Lord. see you tomorrow. But once that's downloaded, uh, people that start way. logging into the hellscape that is Fallout seventy six. I'm so, oh I'm so glad I didn't buy it on release. Never fix the bugs, and there are so many of them. Goodbye world. Goodbye necks. Goodbye body. Goodbye oh my heads. gosh. Bugs, bugs, bugs everywhere. Jesus. Server I'm crashes, bugs everywhere. Game crashes. Oh. Old bugs and ports from Fallout 4. Oh Use more than one nuke at a time. Uh. Server's dead. <laughs> just far too textless oh and all consuming void. Airlock 3 <laughs> Can't pick up stuff, can't stop asserting dominance with a T pose. Yep, the T pose. Frame rate problems, screen tear problems, getting too swole, getting underneath the map. <laughs> Dude, there's so much stuff. Dude, it's wrong. unbelievable. Oh my god, I never knew it was, had this much. Oh, I didn't know it was this bad too. Yeah, you gotta see everything. Jesus. But too many holotapes mean none of them will play. Enemy AI is far more A than I. Animations approach, surprise, floating objects, and a traveling merchant. Just to name a few. Just, just to name a few. Just to name a few. Just the ones that he found personal. <laughs> that video is oh, oh my God. hours long. One thousand and one. But it gets worse. Thousand and one. There is CE three four eight seven eight zero. Can corrupt your data and force you to reinstall the game and console operating system. A few oh, PC no. players had their yep. computers brick entirely. Also, when the date rolled over to the first of January two thousand nineteen, um, the nukes in the game stopped working altogether. No one thought it prudent to program in other years in an always online game. And a few players were straight up logging into other people's accounts. That's wild. This guy had a level 78 character that was randomly replaced with a level 8 character. But no, there's I'd be tilted. couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my god. And many players Man, are not that sucks. thrilled with this game. <laughs> and they want the negative. to know that. And they want everyone else to know that too. But Bethesda owns the platform. Is Fallout 76 fun? Yes, it is. Banned for racism. Threadlock. <laughs> they had no direct oh my God. their rage. The only solution was to put a torch to everything else. Reddit. <laughs> Shut Twitter. Up. Bethesda's other games on Steam. The backlash was immense. 
but surely level heads would prevail. The reviewers would come out and say that the game isn't so bad. Boom! <laughs> oh dear lord, they hate it. Yeah, for once. Oh, yeah. This is so sweet. They're actually Pesito, right. Play Country Roads. <laughs> oh, stay clear of this country road. Oh Dude, 2.5, 5, 2. Oh, oh my god. My god. All the review and critics the hated it. Wild. It's really fucking boring. I oh. could barely bring myself to play it in order to finish this review. No one on staff <laughs> wants to play any more of this video game. I'm not going to subject myself to another. 20, 30 hours of this fucking mess. In short, <laughs> Fallout 76 is morally, so technically, bad. and creatively bankrupt. Sure. The mods on Bethesda forums were working overtime. The mods on Reddit almost gave up. Look, I'm not saying that some people didn't enjoy and have fun with this game. But what I am saying is that the Metacritic was really funny to read. So what happened? Well, it came out that development was hugely rushed. Yep. The deadlines were tight. Oh my Too god. Rushed. Yeah. Plus, this wasn't Bethesda's Too A team. Lucky. It's actually a relatively inexperienced division based in Austin. Which I don't understand why they gave it to them. Kept I know, it's something as big as Fallout. Distant weather systems. Hey Todd, I stayed up all night and I just We're finished We're gonna it. need 16 times the detail. Please. <laughs> Todd, no more. We're gonna need four times the size of Fallout 4. <laughs> F that. They were trying to patchwork the old Bethesda creation engine into a multiplayer framework. What else could you expect? That's why I give my kids Fallout 76. The fool. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Bethesda could tolerate the bugs and the bad reviews and the irate players, but what they couldn't tolerate were the exploits. Uh, infinite inventory, infinite invisibility. The frame rate was tied to the game speed, so people were going a lot faster than they down. should. Server hopping for more items, infinite cash, and infinite duplication, unlimited XP, unlimited new. Gotta make your own fun. Oh, is that alright? You could wall clip into the quest room, and someone was given the curse of infinite invincibility. That's yeah, wild. Sure. This can really mess with other players' online experience. So Bethesda was ready with the ban hammer this just works. and a blindfold to wildly flail around and take down anyone who happened by. Oh my goodness. Jesus, yeah, right. <laughs> they, they handled it so bad. No, they're a progressive company with big ideas. <laughs> yeah. They wanted to give a road to redemption. So support sent out this email to players caught cheating. We would be willing to accept an essay on why the use of third-party cheat software is detrimental to an online game At community. That. That's, That's so right. dumb. 500 words on why you're a very naughty boy, and they may just give you your account back. Okay. But a couple of days later, the mocking from news That's outlets it? caused them to reconsider this approach. <laughs> One more exploit. In all the Bethesda games, there's a dev room. Every item in the game is kept here. Security has to be top notch because otherwise, someone could just waltz in and take all of the best items in the game, and it would be an absolute disaster. Well, <laughs> of course, uh, Bethesda wasn't equipped to deal with. Let's see what other games are single player. In, well, that's just the multiplayer. In the game, then selling those items on a black market of sorts. Oh damn! damn. Oh wow! The usual approach. Benny <laughs> people wild, had some of the best items in the game. Bad spent having 700 good hours just to get the best gun. Die, cheater. Next, no way. Yeah. Tagged if they ever entered the room. And they banned those players. That wasn't much better because people would just start using Smurf accounts. Get in quick with a level 1 account. Get all that good shit. Hell yeah. Then get the fuck out. Then use a duplication glitch to get a ton more of those items. <laughs> Alright. Transfer that stuff to your main account. Oh and my lord. Go. Bethesda then takes out this level one and calls it mission accomplished. And you oh just God. beaten the game. Wow. So the problem continued. Bethesda That's is running out of wild. ideas to solve it. There's a lot oh. of speculation in the media and among players about how exactly people are getting in, but no one except for the exploiters knows for sure. That said, Bethesda needs to act fast before it ruins the economy of the game. It's already so ruined, wrote another to be honest, at that point. Sent it out it is <clears throat> uh, hello, Cheetah. Do you want to tell us Hello, how you Dude, That's so account, wild. Please? Should we not hear back from you, the account will simply remain suspended. It's oh. not very well how this approach worked. But from what I've seen, it's still possible to get into the dev room. 
That's so dumb. The Ask is on how they do it. Just a week after the release, the game goes on discount from sixty to forty dollars. Oh wow! To thirty-five. Oh okay. Yeah. To thirty. You can yeah. find it for fifteen on eBay, and in Germany, they're straight up giving it for free when you buy a PlayStation <laughs> controller. Jesus. Also, some stores are just zip tying it to other products. But to Bethesda, it's Take worth it. selling the thing at a price close to zero. Because it brings people into the atomic shop, <laughs> yeah. which is where the real margins are. And it inflates the poor sales figures. Let's have a look at those. The latest figures show 76 sold less than a sixth of what Fallout 4 did. That's wild. Yeah. There's also been a massive yeah. oversupply of hard copies. I have when seen them everywhere, actually. Disc telling you yeah. to this part's crazy. Code. And while they don't give you a disc, they just give you a code. A high. Immediately upon release, people began asking Bethesda for a refund. 76 is not on Steam, it's on Bethesda's own platform. So they have all the control. If players only played the game for a few hours, then generally they'd get their money back. However, it came out that people were sometimes getting refunds after a full 24 hours of play. Oh, Quite easy. Generous. You know I'd be refunding that. This spread to forums. Then to Reddit, and a post got 12,500 upvotes informing people that this made pretty much everyone eligible for a refund, and the comments told them exactly how to do it. Bethesda was flooded with requests for refunds. Oh my goodness. And their response? Shut it down, lads. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no one gets a refund now. Everyone go home. Show's over. Robot customer service man, engage. Customers who have downloaded the game are not eligible for a refund. We apologize for the oh inconvenience. Oh my god. Die. <laughs> <laughs> a few things followed. So oh dog, bro. Oh, so bad. I had a so bad. Trash the GameStop for refusing his refund. Oh, I, I've never seen this video. What the? Thank you for calling GameStop. This is Brian. How can I help you? <laughs> I was chilling. A bit of an overreaction. Well, thank you for calling GameStop. Probably also fake. Come on, Second, dude. The media. And third, a class action lawsuit. Their inconsistent refund policy and but terms of service may not be strictly legal. November 27th, 2018. McGlashio and Rathod LLP filed a class action suit on behalf of customers. Media quickly picked up on that. <laughs> their main argument is that Did it's a this thing unplayable game owing to its technical Like a couple of years ago Then now. they're refusing refunds, and that Bethesda is engaged in a strategy to release it anyway, and then slowly patch <laughs> their way into a more playable state. Updates on this lawsuit are slow, so I'll keep you informed on the second channel. Ad time. Yeah, ad time, his ads are good. Are headed straight to Earth. Oh my god. We must do something. Was anyone curious enough to read about it online? Not me. Not me either. Nope. Oh no! Now people Ugh, the think crying. I'm dumb and I have died a virgin. No. <laughs> oh. Dead. Oh my he god. to be a wizard Don't now. let this happen to you. Get curiosity. I, I won't. It's a streaming uh, platform with some of the best documentaries and non-fiction oh from around god. the world. Partial nudity? Maybe if oh. you look hard enough. Partial. More importantly, if you look hard enough. The arousing thing of all. Knowledge. Works for your Roku, <laughs> Android, etc, etc. It works on everything, okay? Oh, Science, yeah. nature, history, tech, society. SaturdayStream.com yeah. slash internet historian for unlimited access to the world's free top documentaries and non-fiction series. Use the promo code internet historian during the sign-up process to get the first 30 days free, then cancel any time. Wink. <laughs> Please, I need, I need sponsors. I, I bought a lifetime supply of toilet paper thinking I was oh saving money, God. but then I left it out in the rain and the crows got oh it. God. And now I'm back to no. Please. The the killer killer that is the worst. Left it in the rain. Let the it's rewind a bit. Fallout fans made their pre-orders, and the most dedicated pre-ordered the Power Armor Edition. Oh. Wow. Sounds cool. It came with a helmet. I knew somebody who wanted that. that. Yeah. Army toys. Yeah. And a genuine West Tech canvas bag. We we're thinking about it. But I, we didn't have I, money. I think he, he, he got the bag. And was it the right bag or was it the bad bag? He ordered it from, from canvas and blank. online because he didn't get the package. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. Different. In somebody fact, sold it to him. It looks like a carry bag. The real bag should come in. Bruh. Did they really just advertise no one way. thing? 
and deliver another? You can't do that. So there was a surge of backlash, and people began emailing with Nylon, them, I asking for refunds, oh, asking bad, for bro. answers. <laughs> By this <laughs> point, customers. Why couldn't they do anything right? Over it. They already, they, they were already the bazaar, established. In this email in Bethesda. Hello, we are sorry that you aren't happy with the bag. The bag shown in the media was a prototype Tragic. and was too expensive to make. We aren't planning on doing anything about this it. This is a change the well, picture. Well, then let them know. That's the yeah. whole email. Staff at Bethesda aren't Speech even hiding zero. in contempt anymore. Now, Naturally, the internet goes wild. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, I got so mad, I shaved everything off my face. No way he okay, did. This is a bit of a PR nightmare. We Come on, bro. What do we do? Well, we've got shame. this in-game currency. Let's just give them the minimum amount of That's so stupid. Fantastic idea. Hear ye, hear ye. Anyone who paid two to three hundred dollars for the Power Armor Edition is hereby entitled to five dollars worth of in-game currency. <laughs> That's oh my that you'll god. you'll be able to spend with us. What? Five atoms? Fuck yeah. What are you gonna do with your atoms? I'm gonna buy five eighteenths of the white paint version of the Power <laughs> Armor. Whoa! What about you? Light wood laminate, light wood laminate, light wood laminate. <gasps> Fuck the bag, he's right. Light, light wood laminate. Light wood laminate. Oh my fucking god. That is us. That's true. This was the <laughs> building. To see what would happen. <laughs> the builders. What really happened is further outrage. And even the media started piling on. Almost <laughs> It even became part of Virginia. Virginia. Bethesda put out a tweet apologizing for their Kirk customer service and gave a different excuse for why so they didn't the bags. A shortage of Excuse the material, excuse. apparently. That material. Was because it turns out they did make the canvas bag, except they gave them all out to influencers. Oh dear. Awesome. It's not the oh. same one, of course, but it's sourced from that ever scarce material, canvas. Oh. But what's more amusing is that it turns out there is a canvas bag in the game. If you don the postman's out, which of course can be found at the end. Yeah, yeah microtransaction. For 700 atoms. Oh wow! Ooh, just short. <laughs> just well, short. The leaking from the online community continued, and Bethesda's. I'm quite disappointed with my bag. Yes. So they decided to capitulate. All right, fine. We'll make your precious fucking bag. If you want to claim it, you'll have to fill out this form with your name, personal details, address, etc., etc. Okay. And we'll ship out the bag to you in four to six months. How no? Because Bethesda is known for bugs, and of course their website is a buggy mess too. Turns out all of the customer support inquiries are unsecure and open to the public. In fact, people can open and close and change them at will. Listed are details of full legal names, phone numbers, home addresses, and more. Dude, a credit card too. Oh god. You've just been doxxed. No. Oh my god. Not knowing I did not make a good website. Problem, but there's wow. the and temporarily shuts down the <laughs> website. I thought like, this is a oh, shit so man. Dude. How could this have been so difficult? They made one for New Vegas. One last week. Hey, yeah, City and Studios. That's why. Nuka Cola yeah. Dark. Pre-orders available in September. Shipped out on November 14th. $80 plus postage and handling. Yo! Not cheap. But in return, you got a very That's cool it. bootle. Looks good on the shelf. A great conversation piece with the family over Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, that's massive. Or at least it would have been. Oh. November 14th came and went and there was no rum. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where is it? A week later on November 21st, an email comes through. There's a delay. Things aren't up to the delay. usual fallout standard, they say. So on top of everything, you get a delay on that. The usual fallout standard. Man. Oh my All god. All just works. Things aren't up to the usual fallout standard. So we'll have it for you soon. <laughs> No specific date given. One week later. Nothing. Then on December Nothing. 5th, another email. Good news. We start shipping on December 12th. It's Let's been nearly go. three months since you pre-ordered. But as a show Dang. of good faith, we made this promotional video for you. Yo! And this is where things went from tardy to retardy. Right there. Uh. Did you catch that? Oh, oh. That's just a regular <laughs> industry bottle and a plastic shell. We paid $80 and waited a quarter of a year for a plastic shell? 
people were not happy. Oh, Look at that ratio. He did. Nothing in the marketing uh, said that it was a plastic shell. Super premium, we were promised. Yeah, and that's... the media agreed. <laughs> More headlines. <laughs> Jesus Christ. People began cancelling their orders. Silver Screen tries to convince people that it's not cheap and shitty. It actually costs us twice as much to make the plastic one than the glass one. Then what the fuck? Huh? We, we yeah. Spent 100 hours coding the design. Convincing stuff. So it arrives. <laughs> it's a few days before Christmas. It's like trying to give an excuse to your teacher for not doing your homework. God, can I swear on this? It's my own show. Ah. Worse is the design. I swear. The Do oversized it. lip means liquid can pour inside uh, the shell. Pour because how they made this damn thing. I spilled like half the shot. Very dribbly. So you're best off opening the whole thing up to prevent spilling. If you do that, there's a good chance that you'll snap the flimsy plastic. Any Give me a break, dude. ruin this cheap paper sticker. Some made their own advice no. and the quality was about that <laughs> But look, if you do want a decent version of this product, there are reputable sellers of them. They're on Etsy. They're far cheaper, and they actually yeah. give a shit. Yes. Not gonna lie, though. Some of the memes <laughs> that came out of this were pretty good. <laughs> now, many claim that this was an honest mistake. That's funny. Sorry. Or that customers Sorry. were at fault for misinterpreting ambiguous marketing. I disagree. All of yeah. the marketing shows other glass items. All of yeah. the mock-ups show something more akin to frosted glass than plastic. Yeah. They give plenty of descriptions of the product, too, and not once do they mention plastic. And yeah. they were engaged in a bunch of other tomfuckery as well. <laughs> Before the product was even available, they flooded their own product reviews with a bunch of five stars. Okay, dude. This okay. Eyebrows, and people on Reddit even called them out for it. So they deleted them. You can see all this activity on the Wayback Machine. Now, if they're happy to deceive people in this way, it seems silly to give them the benefit of the doubt about the glass. It's also worth quickly talking about the Bethesda merch store. Hell yeah. Some of these items are pretty neat. That's cool. Good idea. Yo! Fallout 76 pant. 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 <laughs> He's so mad. The photography is all just slightly off. <laughs> this gaudy jacket was mocked relentlessly on social media. Pants. But does the same in $276 that's size not like that much. make it more immersive? Small? And why yeah. did they just toss it on the ground? And it comes in this crumpled up toddler body bag. You're talking okay. about hundreds of thousands of dollars in merch and you don't have an iron? Why is she wearing the size XXL? She's clearly not happy about it. But who <laughs> looked at this and said, Good job. Print. Yeah. There's the word poses. Now that's surprising. <laughs> and what the fuck? Is yes, they're never the sold out. Properly? Yeah, one of those, please. But bigger and brown. Is that so hard? Yes. Let's get back to the game. Right? December 2000. Big and brown. There are two <laughs> patches released that are quite stir. <laughs> The good. Oh! Hmm. For PC, they included a number You've of quality karma. Of life improvements, including push to talk. Future. <laughs> <laughs> Future. But that was a field time. of view sliders. Wait, they didn't have field of view? I mean, realize that. Increased stash capacity from 400 pounds to 600 pounds, and a small buff to automatic weapons. Hooray! They decreased the carry weight of bobby pins so it no longer took up 10 to 20% of people's inventory. I got a box of bobby pins the other week that said, that said, weigh these. <laughs> there were also upgrades oh to the camp God. that allowed for easier construction and a bunch of bug fixes. Yo! <laughs> the bad. A whole bunch of unannounced stealth nerfs. These last car They generally yep. made the game grindier. Demo production was decreased. Oh, damn. Fusion cores burnt out faster. Legendary enemies spawned less frequently. On guard, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> and the backlash was significant because everybody oh. knew why Bethesda was doing it. To encourage people to use the atomic shop. Yep, Michael yeah. Trash actions. Yep. And let's talk briefly about it that store. <laughs> Some of the prices are outrageous. A Christmas 70, tree for 12 million. Dollars. A Santa outfit for twenty. <laughs> Blue and yellow paint for eighteen dollars. That's look, outrageous. Dollars for the same sweater vest and slacks item imported from Fallout 4. But the biggest offense of all was the holiday emote bundle. Twenty-four dollars for some oh Christmas themed emotes. 
twice the price 12. of these games. That's kind of crazy. They agreed that these were egregious prices. But worse, they're engaged in some deceiving marketing practices too. 5% oh, off. It's marked down half price. But it's not. It was released half price. They're artificially yeah. jacking up the price, only to then give it a fake limited time discount in order to create a sense of urgency. Yeah. That's illegal. Here in Australia, at yes. least in Canada and in the EU. <laughs> Reddit quickly picked up on this and pointed it out. Bethesda reacted by Should scrapping the here. discount and just setting it as the always intended price. That's wild, though. Okay, it's been about 25 minutes of whining now, so I'm just yeah. going to leave it here. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even get a chance to touch on the new pay-to-win fiasco. Oh my god! The new camera item that lets you teleport, dwindling. <laughs> <and all. laughs> Yo. But on the flip side, they're also adding new content and improving the game. Which I heard the game got better. Heck, I did. No yeah. Man's Sky was well, yeah. Oh my so god. So maybe Bethesda can do it too. But for now. For now. Todd yeah, they better not mess up Elder Scrolls Seven or Six. Hiding in his bunker until the bombs of I'm worried, dog. I am scared that they will F it up. Returning only when it's time to get our hopes up once again. Oh my god. Next time, if he ever, like, says what's gonna happen in the game, make sure it works before you. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's another uh, rule. Make sure effing game works. I know, right? right? Or, or at least, like, uh, we as the players can can have a little bit of, of sympathy if it's the smallest thing. Yeah. Yes. But, but god dang. But everything at once. Pre-orders, game glitches, getting docs from the website. Terrible oh. business practice. <laughs> Alongside who, all of that. Yeah. Who is deciding... The pricing is outrageous. Who, is he really making all these calls? Him? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not that one guy. No, one guy. It's, it's, just a, it's a multitude of things. For, they, first off, they gave it off to a, a sister uh, company uh, that was smaller, uh, smaller, less experience. Less experience, yeah. Um, I, I think it's still wild that this came out three years ago and Elder Scrolls 6 still hasn't came out. But... <laughs> Oh, I can't oh, ruin God. that. They can't ruin it, dude. I'm scared. I, I think a lot of people, a lot of people are like, if they F up Elder Scrolls 6, that's, GG, that's it it's for It's ruined them. the company. It's yeah. yeah. The company's done. That we give them chances done. on Fallout. Multiple different Fallouts. And True. They, they just can't They just can't do that to Stupid Skyrim. If they do, they're, they're done for. Well, you guys like the video? I did, yeah. That was pretty good. It Very was nice, interesting, for nice sure. Informative video. Informative and outrageous. And outrageous, yeah. So that's pretty much like this is like almost all of his videos, pretty much like talking about all the stuffs going on with some good editing in it. I'm glad yeah. we watched a, a shorter one to dip our toes. Me and Zeus to dip our toes in. Yeah, yeah. The sh short one, the new ones, like the newest one's an hour long. I haven't watched it, but I, oh I was God. like, I'm like, I, I ain't gonna bother watching this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, everybody, thank you guys for watching. Uh, really appreciate it. If you guys have any reactions or any videos you want us to react to, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section down below. We'll go ahead and check them out. And we'll definitely get to it. And once again, please like, comment, and sub. It really does help a lot with this channel, and we're producing more content for you. So, remember, see you guys in the next video, and stay cranky.